Hey, I wanted to show these two uh, boxes that I've worked on the last couple days. These were thrown without a bottom, just a cylinder this tall, and then squared, and then I put a slab on the top and the bottom, and then I cut around here, and then added a flange to the um, lid, and that was just a long, flat slab, and then you just fit that into place there. So, um, so I've waxed these little feet here so that when I slip the pot, I'm going to leave the feet uh, bare bare clay there. So these are sort of little rectangles. There's one and this one's a little taller. Made the same way. So anyway, just wanted to show you those. I'm going to get these slipped here in the next little bit and um, then I'll have to figure out how to decorate them. Alright, I've got a couple more things to show you but we'll do that in another clip. Alright, so I thought I'd show you this thrown cylinder without a bottom and I've ovaled this. You can see so this is also going to end up uh, being a box like these, but it'll be an oval. So um, you can see I've just thrown this bottomless, but you'll notice I've left a little uh, flange down here, a little bit of clay when I made this, and that makes it easier to attach the slab bottom. You've got this bit of clay to smear, like if this bat was the um, slab of clay, you can see you could just blend this in easily, so that's a nice little trick to know. So this will get um, a slab on the bottom, a little bit of a domey slab on top, and then I'll cut the lid about here and um, put some feet on it, and that'll be an oval box. Okay, this last uh, bit here, I just wanted to uh, show something I'm kind of fooling around with. This was just an extra base I had from some of those sculptures I was doing. And um, I've been thinking of doing this for a while, and I've played around with it a few times, but you know, I usually, on, um, let's see, just for example, on uh, this kind of pot, I have to scrape away all this background slip. And on bigger pots, you know, it's a lot of scraping and uh, quite a bit of removal of all this sort of thing. So um, I thought I would try waxing out this area with wax and then I'll apply the white slip all over the pot and then um, so this will be resisted and then I can just come back in and do the scraffito details like these little marks and the eyeball and the ears and um, things like that see it so you know I can draw the bird's eye and the wing and all the little cross hatching and stuff in there so this is the goat an owl and the rabbit so um, so this is just going to be sort of an experiment to see how that works I tried to be a little more careful than I have in the past applying this wax and it'll be neat to see how it uh, how it resists and how I like um, you know just working at the pot in this stage working on the pot alright so I'm going to slip this up later and I'll try to get a photo of that up too alright that's all for now so I've just brushed some slip on this pot with the wax and you can see um, you can see what's happened so far I mean this this is just beating up here I guess this wax, uh, this slip so um, I'm not sure what to do next I guess I'm going to let I could sponge this off or I could wait. You know, sometimes it's better just to wait and see um, if that would be better to try to mess with later or what. So, anyway, I don't know. I just wanted to show you what happened. So, pretty good though, actually, on the silhouette part there, you know, and like I said earlier, I'll just graffito in the rest. But, um, anyway. I don't work with wax much, so uh, we'll see what happens here. I'll let you know what I decide to do. Okay, there you go.